Ahoy there, dudes! Let's take a look at the first of two Dice Masters Ninja Turtle sets. The good thing about the complete Game in a Box versions is that this game used to be collectible. Which meant that if you tried to play competitively, you ended up getting run over by some super rare card that your opponent bought on eBay. For big bucks. In this case, everyone has access to a common pool of cards. Here's a quick overview. You'll set up your eight cards as well as two basic actions and the dice that goes with them. The game comes with small paper playmats, but you can upgrade to neoprene if you Google around a bit. Be advised that this game comes with several versions of each character, but only three dice for each. So you will end up fighting over them. On your turn, you'll draw and roll four dice from your bag. Use the energy to buy new characters, or field your characters to attack your opponent. Your character dice will have three energy sides and three character sides with three strength levels. These will show you how much they cost to field, their attack, and their defense. If you attack the other player and they do not or cannot defend, then the damage goes straight to their life. If they use one or more fielded characters to block, the damage is prevented. But the blockers take the attack damage instead, which may knock them out or send them back to the field if it's less than their defense. The blockers will also give some damage of their own, which will affect the attacking dice in the same way. The basic actions can be purchased by anyone with any type of energy, which is nice because other recruitable types require at least one of a specific type of energy. Pay the cost and move the purchased dice to your used area, which is like the discard in Dice Masters, and they'll end up in the bag to be unleashed later. Also, keep an eye out for global abilities that can be used by any player. This one, for instance, lets you recover life points once you've dropped below a critical level. Mmm, pizza! We played a lot of Dice Masters several years back, and the magic is still there. And there's a good amount of cause and effect in this, such as characters with wind-fielded abilities, and characters that benefit from characters with wind-fielded abilities when they're fielded. Sounds confusing, but it's really not. For instance, Mousers gain a non-stackable bonus of plus one attack and plus one defense when this happens. There's also teamwork bonuses when you pair the right characters together. In fact, Foot Ninja gain a stackable bonus from every sidekick that you field. We're ninjas, our tactics should be sneaky. This set has a mix of artwork from the original comics and the original animated series. If you're a Turtles fan, there's a lot of nostalgia here. Unfortunately, the three dice per character thing really can be a problem. For instance, if you get a cheap version of the character, you're gonna wanna buy a lot of dice, but if it costs five or more, you're probably only gonna end up buying one. But if your opponent has any version of that character, they may be hogging your dice. Anyway, it's still very much worth it. So if you're down with the turtles, this may be a great option for you. Cowabunga, mateys! Arr.